I'm Paul Turner and I live in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. So Paul, how does epilepsy affect you? Epilepsy has brought a big change in my life in the fact that it entered my life at the age of 55. I lost the ability to drive a car for two years and it got me fired because of my inability to drive. What obstacles have you had to overcome with your epilepsy? The largest challenge has been the fact that it arrived at the age of 55. And believe it or not, I was a healthy guy then. Still am. But I lost the ability to drive a bike and go walking by myself because of my tendency to go into seizures. What is one thing you wish people knew about epilepsy? I wish people knew that more people than they realize have epilepsy. They say every adult in North America right now, today, knows 10 people that have epilepsy. Why do you think agencies are important and why should people living with epilepsy reach out to them? The Epilepsy Association of Nova Scotia brings great help to people that have epilepsy and their families, and it gives them hope about making progress on a very challenging medical issue that has impacted their brains. It's important because in order to beat the challenge that epilepsy represents, we need a team that is put together, and that team is made up of the family and friends, the medical community, of course, but society in general, because we need to recognize that it's here, it's a challenge, and we need to beat it together as a team. How did your epilepsy come on? I was on my bike one day. I'm a big biker, been biking for over 30 years. I was on out on the Shuby Trail. It was a beautiful day. Sunshine, green leaves, blue sky. And for some reason, on the return of this 25 kilometer trip I'd been taking for years, my eyesight turned only to two colors, red and gold. I was surprised and scared and I didn't know what to do. I slowed down on my bike and dealt with it for the next 10 or 15 minutes to try and find a safe way to deal with this initial exposure to epilepsy. I cannot tell you why this happened. Nobody else can either. But that was my first seizure. And thereafter, it was simple. It was uh, simple and complex partial seizures that took place. And I learned a lot from the neurologists that I came to see. Questions or anything you'd like to talk about, add, or? I think people need to learn how common epilepsy is, and people need to make sure they can reduce the probability of it occurring. Make people wear good helmets when biking, for example. Also, when epilepsy shows up in someone's life, get good medical help to come up with the right solution to finding some sort of way to deal with it.